Hey guys, it's Barry here. Today we're playing some first strike Viego into Shaco. Um, why am I going first strike? Well, I mistakenly won it a uh, game ago, and I actually think there's a potential angle for it if you're going a one shot sort of assassin build. So we're gonna see if we can make it work. I think I think I might be cooking something here, guys. So, um, here are my runes down there. You want alacrity. <clears throat> and you want attack speed, of course. So it's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same, except you just don't get Conqueror, which is the, the big difference. Okay, so we're just clearing here. There's not much more for us to do. Out of the wrong thing. Oopsies. Let's watch our lanes here. Top is war right now. I do not know where their Shaco is, unfortunately for us. But I'm probably just gonna full clear, and if Shaco ganks a lane and gets a kill, he gets he gets a kill. Like it's fine. Um, I don't think our bot should get though, but it actually looks like they're playing a bit aggressive here. So they could be here actually. Oh, they are trying to dive. I'm on the way though. They look like they're kind of inting a bit. They take a kill for sure. So he did my Gromp in time, and my blue buff, or no, just my Gromp. That's really crazy to me, he was able to get both my camps there. Or not both my camps, but like, all three of his bot side, and my Gromp, and dive bot lane. That is like, a very fast clear for the Shaco. Which makes sense, he is playing Shaco, but... Still kinda crazy to me. Aw oh, man. Okay, we got we traded the kills back. Okay. And because we have we have uh <laughs> futures we can get our item. Conquer there actually might have made a difference, but you know, we're we're still we're still playing with it. We also didn't have our E, but we're still playing with it. We're still seeing how it feels. And we're gonna run straight to top in here, not our bot side. We're gonna get Kraken Slayer, we're gonna go Oh, we'll see Kraken Eclipse, Kraken Sunder Sky. We'll see we'll see we'll see what angles we have here. Um, but I do want to ping this guy, Lamb. Though I want to come. We're stopping here. Great, like this guy. Oh, I missed the cannon. Fuck off. Alright, that was a pretty nice and easy gank. We get the whole wave. Let's go back to our camps here. And everything is uh, going pretty chill right now. We got 35 gold already from, from first strike. We're actually getting rich right now. Huge. Mid lane gets killed, unfortunately for us. It looks like they're going to be playing for this these grubs. And my, my mid laner is dead. He does a teleport, but ultimately the problem is my top... Top wave and, and mid wave. I just don't have I just don't have waves. Look, look. There's no wave here and there's no wave up here. So it's probably just gonna be like their set of grubs, and I will just try and play to scale. Looking at my champions, right? Like we're happy, sort of scaling up <coughs> for the most part. I could also try and trade the dragon, um, but pretty much I don't I don't necessarily need to go fight fight him on the grubs. There's no real point. My mid laner wants to go die here. I'm not sure why. There's not much more I can do there. But this guy just uses his main spell here. Oh shoot, if I landed that, it was actually a kill. If I landed my W there on Nautilus, it was actually a kill on him. So that's like really bad that I missed that. I am down to come towards Balin and fight them here. Okay, just chuck it out. We can still go play for the dragon here. <coughs> we could pull the dragon out. Nice. 
let's just get this Drake, and we're gonna be really happy. After we get this Drake, we're gonna insta recall here. We're not gonna touch our bot camps because our top camps are respawning. So I'm gonna hit B here and go to my top side. And we're in a really, really good condition to sort of carry this game. Now, do I buy the recurve bow? I mean, I think I do. It's it's more a debt, but it's actually worth because I'm gonna be strong. So I think it's actually worth it to buy this here. They, I think they've gotten at least one of the grubs, not both, but at least one of them. Um, I'm gonna try and ping here. I don't know where Shaco is, so I'm just gonna try and ping. Shaco ends up being mid lane. Okay. This guy might just be Connor, but he trades one barely. Barely doesn't trade him. It's really sad for him. Shaco keeps ganking mid lane, which is honestly not much I can really do for him, but it's all good. Our top winner is about a solo kill <coughs> enemy top winner. And I'm actually farmed up very, very well. I do need to mute this guy because he is kind of being a little bit annoying. And my mid laner, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so he yeah, does not have teleport. We do have Talia wall. There are th four grubs up here, but I don't know where their Nautilus is, so I'm actually just gonna take my leave here, and again, go back to my camps, because it's just like I don't have information, and I don't wanna int the game to get information. So there's Nautilus. They saw my E here though, so they are scared that I'm on grubs as well. So there's not um, too much fear. If they get grubs, I already got the dragon. I'm happy. I'm gonna use this time to just farm my camps. And be a happy boy, farming camps. And I have my Kraken Slayer here, so I could also just take my recall. If there's nothing to do, I can always just recall here. The mid laner is full item already. So that's not great. Balin is playing really safe. Which means there's a good chance Shaco's trying to get mid, or if he's on the grubs. Or race top lane, for example. There's a low chance he's like in the bushes here. This mist has but one kill, and I will fight. Nice. So they got the grubs. We got two kills falling. That's very, very good for us. And now I'm gonna go. Actually, uh, I wanted to share some gold there, but it's okay. My teammates were too a little bit too far away. I'm gonna also trade a camp, and I'm gonna recall and go to my Krugs. I'm gonna put my E here and just hit B. In a little bit of a safe spot. Go to our Krugs. I mean, he knew he was coming. Right, I, I could ping him a, a few a few more times there, but he knew. Uh, like, uh, he just got the grub, so it's all good. Don't worry, man. Artelia's gonna come and be a superhero. Superhero ultimate's coming up. Oh, he's gonna save it, actually. Oh, no, it's not. Superhero Artelia play. He misses W, so he can't. He might actually be dead here. Holy shit, okay, nice. That's flash or flash. I can't make it to this play here. I'm just gonna farm my camps. Now, do I go Sunner Sky or Eclipse? <clears throat> There's two builds I want to try that that use for strike. I'm gonna try the um, Eclipse build this game probably, and then I'll try this other build I was recommended. Another game. This guy is a goner. They teleported up there. That was this Aatrox flash as well. So we can time that as 15 top. Alright, we have this next dragon to play for, we're really close. We got 150 gold off of our little thing here. Then I was really trying to dodge that, but it spotted me. It's really annoying. I was really trying to dodge that because they, they get a lot of info on me because they see me there. That's a freebie. We take those. I 
thing is, if I go back here with my teammates, we can work them. I want to get this crab. Okay, we don't have to fight them here. It's fine. We feel a little bit too scared. The Cassio is dropping a wave. We can get like plates. I can maybe trade into the top side. <sighs> but ultimately, that dragon is just too hard for us to fight. And sometimes that happens, you know. If you're too, you're too weak. You don't have position. You, 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 sometimes you just can't fight objectives that you would rather fight. But sometimes it's just not possible. Now this top laner though, he has no flash. Remember, we timed it from earlier, so we can look at this guy up here, which I am going to do here. They also have no teleport. And now I'm going to take Aatrox and probably leave with Aatrox. I want to just recall, I'm not, I have so much gold. Alternatively, I can stay and pull the objective with my teammates. But because I'm just so low right now, I probably just want to hit my B. I should just leave. Alright, we're really close to our next item. But again, we have so much gold. I'm going to just hit my B here. Ah, I changed my mind. We're 300 gold off item. And we're not really playing for these scrubs. We're not really playing for any tempo. Uh, we can play for our item here. So this is where in some cases, like it's completely fine to stay on the map and farm farm gold if you're not going to be fighting anything. If you know that there is no fight coming up, I'm not fighting these grubs. Even dragon or herald might be hard. We have no allowy ultimate and just setup is just hard at the top side. Um, you can just farm and get your item. And now you're going to be strong enough to come off the map and be powerful. So, probably just gonna buy my Eclipse here. Next item, I'll probably just buy, um, I mean, I'll, I'm thinking Terminus. I've never built it before, so I don't really know how it feels. But, I was recommended, or well, I've seen the build as well, I wasn't just recommended, I've seen that build. So I'm down to give it a shot. But as you can see there, Cassiopeia is too strong, so if I fought up top lane without my item spikes, we probably would've just lost the fight. But, we pretty much, essentially we can't win the fight. It's just, it's very hard to win the fight. Teammates are gonna fall here. Their Cassios are just a bit too strong right now. So if we can try and trade into the bot side, get the bot turret. It's really good for our map at least. We get something on the flip side. Even though they get the rift, we get the bot turret. Okay, well we traded something. So now we at least get some resources, some advantage. Um... It hurts my heart. It hurts so much. That is a lot of damage, guys. I'm not sure how much of the of the first strike. How much first strike did there, but we did do a lot. Oh my god. I actually think I hella griefed him there. Oh, we don't we didn't have spells for a sec there. Okay, we at least trade the shutdown back. But I'm liking the damage I'm doing guys. I'm actually liking it. I mean I'm not sure if it's first strike gap. But not, it's, I don't think it's first strike app just yet, but it's just these two items are actually really powerful together. So let's just try Terminus. Like, people say, hey guys, Terminus is fucking OP, man. Is this actually OP? I don't know. But if I'm going Terminus, if I'm going this build, I better have, like, good reason. So if they're all squishy this game, which they are, it's, it's like a good enough reason for me to say, okay, I can go Terminus. Um, what boots am I going to go this game? I'll probably just buy Tabai. Well, let's just buy it. Let's just buy this component here. We have this next dragon we do want to play for. What I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to go to my Krugs. I'm not going to go anywhere top side here. Because it's a really close game. And because control really matters for both sides. Where like we can't face check Nautilus. Not easily. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and sh go straight to my bot side here, and we can fight the fight the Nautilus if he's um, you know overstepped here. We're getting control in the bot side. Beautiful. And now we can also like fight them here if we wanted to. I can chunk this guy out pretty hard. We're getting jumped right now. Okay, well, I went a little deep there. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this is the pop-off moment. Quadra kill, that's the hype guys, let's fucking go. That's the build, that's the build gap right there. And we, and we got 500 Gs from, from first strike, okay? First strike's OP! No, I don't know guys, I don't know yet. It, it feels alright, it definitely feels like fun. At the very least. Am I having fun guys? I am, so... That's what matters at the end of the day. Let's get Terminus. Let's see how strong we feel. Okay? Apply 30 meta damage on hit, and then we get whatever this means, okay? Alternate between some damage. Like, whatever that means, we have it too, okay? And our next item, okay, I, I don't, I'm not gonna go full glass cannon. I hate going full glass cannon. So I'm going to buy some defensive items. So I'm gonna go Sunder Sky here. I need something. What I can do is I can automatically go Sunder Sky into, um, into what? Sunder Sky into, like, Infinity Edge. Like, that was the other build I was told to go, so to try at least okay i mean we'll, we'll see we'll see how it feels uh, i i think i'm pretty strong right now i'm three items i'm pretty fat my zara is eating my raptors like a hungry hungry piggy eat it bro eat my raptors you're hungry i get it uh, um we're getting jumped off lane. this guy is fucking dead Terminus gives you armor when you stack it. Oh, interesting. I I, mean, I did not know that. When, how the fuck do you stack it, though? Cancel his thing. I mean, my my ADC doesn't want to move, which I I can I can understand, but it is low key. Oh, he didn't want to fight that guy. Okay, I mean, it makes sense. Bro, step up. Walk the fuck up. Is this guy fucking playing League of Legends right now? What the fuck was that, bro? Auto stack it. Interesting. Today we learn what Terminus does, guys. Oh, you when you hit champions. Interesting. Okay. That's actually so interesting. Okay. When I hit champions, I gain stacks. Of stuff, and, and you get magic pen, and oh, okay, that's pretty cool, actually. That's actually pretty useful. I'm not gonna lie, but but it is like really squishy if I don't. Bro, the the, the Lulu ulted like Zeri. I mean, Zeri's gonna pop off here, but I also got hit by the the Cassio ulti. Ah, fuck. No way. Artsalia? Oh my god, that's so miserable. Alright. We kinda got one tapped. I, I mean, my Lulu per preferred to ult the 3 3 Zeri, because Zeri just got a double kill. The 3 and 2 Zeri over the 11 and 2 Viego. So, I mean, I fucking got one tapped, but. If I don't get one tapped in these fights, I feel like I'll be very strong. So let's just hope. Let's just hope we uh, get some Lulu shieldings.
in the next fight, and we, they don't go on Zeri. Like, I get it. Like Zeri is strong, and that's why you pick Lulu. But like, I have a lot of kills, so you should also just shield me, man. Alright, let's um go back to our camps here. Sari wants to eat all my fucking camps. He's the main character. He doesn't want to get mid wave at all. And we should have full midway prio. He doesn't want to get it. He wants to farm camps. Respect. And so it was that love. Alright. Let's fight this dragon. They could now they could actually be on the Herald or the, the Baron because we have just no we have just no info and honestly like it's my fault we have no info I should be walking with Lulu. Lulu cannot face check anyone this game But I think we're gonna be okay here Zeri's fine nice I want to play for this very badly here so let's come together let's play for the objective of the day which is Subjective until there is nothing left but um, they could be on it right now so unfortunately we do have to retake some vision before we can play the game yeah oh, that guy is actually an idiot I'm getting the hell out of here He just got eaten up there because of my E spacing there. It's really important, like even if they're one HP, you don't have to just go kill yourself. Like that's that's like the mistake I think a lot of Viego players make. Is you don't have to go in for the resets if it's too dangerous. You can do what I just did there and like play with them. Like they're so scared of dying to the reset, so they're gonna play in a really bad way when they're pressured like that. But obviously I I mean if I played for the reset, I probably could have gotten it. Now would I have died right after? Maybe that's what I'm worried about. That's why I don't like um, playing like that. Because I might have been able to get I might have just gotten a one shot right after. Um, okay, let me think about like any other items I can go that gives me HP. I think this is the best item for HP. I tried doing Baron again, they didn't get it. We can probably pull Baron ourselves now. If we really wanted to. I think our Zeri wants to recall though. Yeah, she has IE, so I'm just gonna let her recall. Honestly, guys, I don't really think Terminus is too strong. Um, I get like double recurve bow and everything, but considering how fed I am, I feel like I'm actually not doing that much damage. Um, that Aatrox who lived for so long, even though he has Tabla, I feel like he should have died way earlier. I feel like there's better items you could be building if you're trying to one shot people. Um, but it's my first time building it, so I'm not 100% sure. It's just that's just my initial thoughts. All right, let's get this objective here. If I know if I buff Sundered Sky crit damage, I believe it does. So it is a very fun item, at the very least. Now this guy might get just get jumped. All right, we got Thunder Sky from Futures Market. Let's see if we can get Infinity Edge. If we, okay, like, actually, actually, with these, I I think just going. Sundered Sky, uh, sorry, Kraken, Sundered Sky, Eclipse is a viable build path, but Terminus, it doesn't feel that strong. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't feel that strong. It doesn't even do much, that much damage. And it doesn't even give you great stats. Like, I'd rather farm regularly for more stats. I wanted more stats. Jesus. What is wrong? Never. 
Wait, that guy lived? Oh my god. Wait, it's, we're actually swiped then. Wait, that guy, like, like, I swear these guys aren't supposed to be living here. Okay, Zeri's just popping off though. Wait, or not. Oh, shit. Like, actually, how though? How are these guys living? I thought I was supposed to be pretty fucking strong on four items. That's what I'm saying though. Like when when you go for these kills, I just don't like the build. Like I just I that's why I'm I'm just a fan of like the bruiser bruiser type builds. Like I'm just a much bigger fan of that. But this game should still be a nice nice little clap. Now we got a bit of value from from first strike. I mean, it, it really hasn't done that much damage. It, it really hasn't been that useful. So. I might have been cooking, but maybe we're just not building the right items. Maybe, we're, maybe that's the problem, guys. Maybe, we, maybe if we build Sunner Sky Infinity Edge, or you know, get Bork. Like Bork was doing work um, last game. I went, I went first strike. So we'll see, we'll see. I gotta do some more testing, guys. But at the very least, I, I can voice my opinion and say. That this this set of items, at least not terminus, is actually powerful. Um, it, it's 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 all just adapting to what your build is and what the enemy comp is too. Because that's that's what really dictates what you should be buying at the end of the day. It's not like oh, is this item better than this item? Like no, it's never going to be so static. It's never going to be like this is objectively better than this. It's always going to be like in some cases this item is really powerful. In some cases this item is very powerful. That's normally how. Um, Never item scope. Like, it's never gonna be just one is the best. Anyway, let's play for this dragon here. Let's just com 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 control everything. Okay, complete control. I'm gonna put my E here. Wait. Yeah, he gets ulted like that. We actually get wiped here. Hey, yikes! Okay, Talia's playing for this fight pretty well. All right, we, 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 we can at least still- they, they can win the fight, but I, I'm not gonna lie guys. I'm actually pretty useless. Feels really weird. Sorry, I'm really not this. I mean, they're to be fair, their champions are very, very, very annoying to play against. If I'm gonna be completely honest, they just have like so much damage from Cassio, and they also just have so much CC. So, at the end of the day, it's pretty hard to play. Their, their Nautilus is also playing really well by just giving his body in and we can't kill him. But, um... In a world without love, death. Yeah, this game is going to get a little closer than I expected. Just because their Cassio is just so strong and their Nautilus is actually playing really well. <sighs> Cassio altered twice? I mean, at this point in the game when you have, uh... That many levels, like yeah, you're gonna be able to do that twice. It's just like you're not even stacking up that much armor. Like, look, Grant's eight. Wait, talks about eight armor. Like, it doesn't even look like a lot what of stats that it provides. That's the problem. So yeah, I recommend if you guys want to try some sort of build like this, don't have to do the first strike, but just do it by Terminus. I, I actually like, I've actually never played it, and like, this is why I'm trying, I'm experimenting. Don't buy Terminus. Like, Eclipse seems seems chill. Um, Kraken, Sundered Sky, Eclipse, like those items all seem really good. But this Terminus item, they're just fucking with you. Whoever's saying to buy Terminus, they're just fucking playing with your mind. That's all, I, that's, that's my, that's the best explanation I got. They're just pranking you. Oh. 
Yeah, I got a good thing going there. Should be over then. Only their Aatrox is up, should be over then. I got a good stun there on their Cassio. And then I kinda pussy down, I'm not gonna lie. I thought Cassio would ult me, but nonetheless, it should just be over. Yeah, they FF, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I mean, we learned a few things. First strike feels okay. You know, I, I wouldn't say um, it's the best, but hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, peace.